symposium will bring together scientists from uh, different disciplines. Why so many fields of interest uh, for this uh, receptor? The calcium sensing receptor, like all the endocrine receptors, because uh, calcium sensing receptor is part of the endocrine receptors, even though it's a receptor for calcium, it controls the function of a very important gland that is the parathyroid gland. And so, like all the uh, endocrine receptors, uh, is diffused in all the body. We have not to be surprised that there is such great interest, because even though the main function of the calcium sensing receptor is to control uh, the levels of calcium through parathyroid hormone and through the exchange of calcium at the kidney uh, level. Uh, the calcium sensing receptor has functions also in other tissues, like for instance the, the endocrine pancreatic tissue. Uh, receptors for the calcium sensing receptor are in vessels, uh, are in the brain. So the interest is quite wide and that these days potential applications even in the oncology field are proposed. So it's a pleiotropic receptor that is very much increasing in the knowledge of its function, uh, its physiology, and even its pathophysiology. And, uh, many key speakers and also forums uh, for young uh, investigators to meet uh, senior experts. When you have a field like the one of the calcium sensing receptor where we have to remember that for the second time the European Union has been uh, supporting a network project through the Marie Curie uh, grantship, uh, uh, there is always the participation of young investigators uh, because where there is research there are young investigators and these young investigators in a meeting that is so focused that we could compare this to a garden conference uh, were a small number, number of participants, free entrance, and the possibility to exchange ideas and results with uh, senior investigators that will be there for the two days of the meeting to talk with the people, to understand what's going on, and most of all, to give also visibility to these young scientists that are going to be in the podium to present their new data, and with also awards that are going to be given both at the, by the Endocrine Society of the United States and the American Society of Bone and Mineral Research. So I think that is a very important event. The third one in its story, uh, for the first time in Italy, we are very proud that many Narini Foundation uh, for the third time has been listening to the suggestion to have such an important conference that uh, will have also as final outcome a review paper on the status of the art of the receptor today, uh, 2017, opening for the future congresses uh, and for the future uh, networking activities uh, that are ongoing at the European level. Mm -hmm.